Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. I know it's been a while since I posted anything. I've just been real busy with work and everything else, but uh, I wanted to go over um, these rear back windows. I actually had to comment on the Dodge page on Facebook to actually even get a, some uh, behind the scenes uh, footage about it and info about it because uh, when I bought this truck, if you notice, the previous owner, he used to live in Texas and someone broke into it. So the entire time I owned this truck, it had this really fucked up seam that some you know, piece of shit thief hacked out, you know, and it was really messed up. I actually threw the old window out. This is the new window, but uh, what I wanted to show you was to get these windows out, I really should have documented all this, but I want to show you guys how easy this is. So basically, you're going to come inside here, okay, and you're going to pop this panel off. Be very careful, guys. There's three points where you actually have to apply pressure and work them off. I mean, they're really freaking on there, but just give you a little... Uh, example that's what the plate looks like before it's removed it's it's that it's that whole trim piece right there okay and this is what it looks like under that so there's three little metal brackets they love to break they're super fragile it's basically metal on metal and then the metal is basically just clipped into the plastic so it's super easy to break but what I found was easiest was I took a, a plastic trim pry tool and at the junkyard when I have my donor car I went in here and I uh, I broke the old one off just so I could get an idea and see behind it. But you've got one here, one there, and one there. So your best bet is take a pry tool, get in here, and work them one at a time. Um, I worked from top to bottom on my truck. It's really lifted, so you know if you're lifted like this, um, it's going to be really hard to do um, the top to bottom first. I mean, but at the same time, just remember if you take this this uh, door panel off you could very easily start bottom to top or middle maybe. I just feel like if you pried the middle off and you know, got you got to that point where it just kind of, you know, pop free, you'll end up snapping these without even meaning to. So I would start top to bottom or bottom to top, however you want to do it. But uh, anyways, guys, long story short, so my method was pull this panel off, then you've got this little weather guard in here. You're gonna pull that off, okay? Then you're gonna go to the outside, okay? you're gonna pull this piece off. This piece comes right out, the outer um, weather guard. If you've got in-channel rain guards like I do, obviously pull that out too, okay? This window, guys, just so you know, is a nightmare to get out. I mean, it fits so tight in this track. So let me explain to you what I did. You've got two window tracks. One that's actually attached to this window. It runs all the way down to the door. And then you've got another track on this side. So what I did was I broke the window loose at the regulator. There's two bolts about right here. You know, obviously they move up and down with the window. But if you bring them down to about right here, there's two access holes. This one's a big cutout. This one's like a perfect circle made to get into the regulator. So you're going to undo the window, let that sit. You don't have to take out the window regulator, okay? That can stay put. Next, I would recommend you break loose this window regulator, okay? I mean, a uh, window regulator. Next, break loose uh, this window track. Once you break that window track loose, then you're gonna pull this rubber part. Mind you guys, no one told me this, but this is actually all one assembly. This window, this, um, I guess you could call it a, you know, an accent window. This accent window not only is a track to the full window track, it's also a tra uh, attached to the entire um, window seal. So you're gonna pop this seal out. Once you get that distance, you're good to go. The window should come right out, easy breezy. And then, uh, yeah, you're gonna go in there. There's two bolts that hold this piece in, aside from these three bolts that have to come out. After that, you're gonna kinda just like push on this. This is what I did, I pushed this window through, and then it's gonna come out like this, right? It's just gonna come out like this. And then what I did was is I rotated it this way. And then I slid it up about halfway, and then you gotta kinda like manhandle it through the very little opening you have with the window. But uh, yeah, it's starting to rain, so I'm gonna close that up and head back towards the house. But yeah, guys, so I mean, that's pretty much it. You know, it, it, it's, it sounds simple. When someone explains it to you, it kinda is simple, but at the same time, it's tricky. You don't wanna really bend anything. You don't really wanna pry on anything too hard. A lot of this shit, especially if your truck's 20 years old, like mine is now, is very fragile. Um, to be honest with you, I'm gonna be painting this truck you know, I just got it all put back together at the beginning of the year. I'm going to be painting this truck in probably about six months. I don't even know if I'm going to pull these out. I mean, this side I will because the the trim um, came off pretty easy. But on that other side, I have no idea the condition of that trim. You know what I mean? It's, it's probably super brittle. So I'm probably just going to leave this side alone 
you know, and just paint it the best I can. I mean, I'll take the door handles out and all that good stuff. You know, the 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 mirrors and the tr uh, the the rain guards, you know, and pretty much everything else that I can that you would on an old paint job. Like for instance, I'm gonna pull the whole bed off, you know, paint the back of the cab because I'm gonna black this whole thing out. I'm gonna go for like a semi-metallic or maybe a matte uh, a matte black. I'm not sure yet. I mean, I painted my front bumper and my rims with a matte black, and I kind of like them, but I get greasy. At work guys I'm a mechanic I do this every day and when you get greasy hands with matte paint um, I mean I don't know about like a professional matte paint job you know with like the actual matte clear coat that's obviously the 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 route I'm gonna go but if you just do a straight matte paint job even like the oils on your fingers it gets on that and it shows man and it it looks greasy kind of like this rain that's hit this fender that's what your greasy hands will look like in the paint it, it just it shows and it will not go away until you clean it so uh yeah those are my options i'm probably gonna end up going with a matte color like i said i'm working for a body shop right now so uh yeah they uh they're they're gonna take care of me and help me out i'm gonna scuff it fix all the little you know baby dents here and there like there's a dent up there you can see in the in the back of the cab um, there's a dent right here from where my wife backed into a tree and then I put a new bumper on a couple You know little dents down the side. There's really no major body damage It's just little dents like when I bought this fender it came with a little dent in it um, You can't really see it. It's super minor, but it's like right there You can see a dent So uh, yeah, I just got to do a bunch of little body work and then I also got to get my antenna still um, it's really hard. A lot of people don't talk about this, but these antennas are actually year specific unless you're going to get the full uh, cable and all that. And then you can, you know, pay $217 at the dealer because that's what they freaking quoted me. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, like I said, the main video is just to touch base on these uh, exterior quarter panel windows, you know, in case anyone fucks yours up or you break it or um, so on and so forth. But uh, also, another fun fact they're discontinued. So, if you do need to find that window, you might want to get on it as soon as possible because your only choices are junkyards. I was lucky enough, I got that window over there, this same window, just on that side, this window. I got it for 25 bucks. I had to go pull it myself, which isn't, you know, that big of a deal. But um, yeah, I had Cornos quote me. That's another local junkyard. No, I'm sorry, it was Cook Auto Salvage. They quoted me $125 for them to pull it and uh for me to come pick it up they wanted 125 i went you know another 40 miles past them so round trip it was like i don't know like 80 miles but long story short i got this window right here which was in great shape nothing wrong with it i pulled it myself the door wasn't hit or nothing uh the front of the truck was was smacked but yeah 25 bucks that's all it cost me and it matches perfect you know it matches the factory tint and all that good stuff yeah so anyways guys i'm gonna wrap the video up i just want to make a quick video let you guys know about those windows there's not a lot of information out there about them um but yeah that's it have a good weekend guys